Good afternoon. My name is Tom Brinsonoff, certified master tech from Reading, Pennsylvania. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to use a Bondo body patch. Um, it's actually pretty simple. Um, the first thing you want to get yourself is a can of body filler, a little can of a little tube of hardener, which usually comes underneath the lid of one of these things. Um, you want to get this thing open here. Now I'm going to mix a small amount. Um, of this body patch here to act like we're, we're repairing a, a small ding. It's really not that difficult. If you can, if you're really susceptible to the strong smells, if they really bother you a lot, this is not something you want to do because this stuff does stink. What you want to do is have a line equal to the amount of body filler that you use. Make sure this hardener gets closed up as soon as you're done with it. Last thing you want to do is this stuff starting to dry up on you. Now you can mix this with a screwdriver. You can mix this with um, any kind of a putty knife. I particularly like a screwdriver because it's a little easier for me to clean off. But you want to mix this so it gets nice, nice and pink. Um, if you feel on the inside, you'll feel this stuff actually getting pretty warm because of the, the chemical reaction on the inside. But once you get this stuff mixed, you don't want to see any gray whatsoever in there. If it's not mixed thoroughly when you, you put this stuff together, when you go to put it on the car, you're going to have a section of this stuff that's going to be real soft. It's going to be real pain to, uh, real, real pain to work with. Another key thing I, I want you to, to understand, when you're using this stuff, only use the amount that you need. If, you, if you're going to need just a little tiny bit, um, just make a little tiny bit. Um, and try to put a little, as little as possible on your vehicle. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a spot on this vehicle that, that needs repaired, but we're going to use this, this piece of cardboard as an example. You take just a little tiny bit. I, I tend to like to use cardboard um, for the sheer fact I can just throw it away, and it saves a lot of time from cleaning up. But if your vehicle was here and you had like a little dent in the, in the center, all you'd like to do is nice and smooth take this right over the top, that's all you need to do. Just make sure you try to keep the excess off. Only use what you have to because the more you use, unfortunately, the more you're going to have to sand. But that's about all there is to it when you're, you're talking about body filler. And like I was trying to say, just be very careful. You might want to go over this a few times. Try not to put too much on. Just enough to, to get it nice and smooth and flat. You might have to go over it, you know, five or six times to get it done there. But this is going to have to sit for at least an hour or two before you start sanding it. You can start sanding when it's earlier and not completely dry, but if you do that, you're going to have sand marks on the inside of it. Um, it's going to give you a little bit more work time. Um, a seasoned auto body guy uses this on a routine basis. It's really easy for them to use. The, the key point when you're using this is make sure, you, if you can see this nice pink color on the inside here, that's the way you want it. Um, any, any lighter than that, any darker than that, you have to have too, le too less of uh, hardener in or too much, but that's a good pink color right there. You spread it on as little as possible. You'll notice very soon right afterwards, it's going to start to get dry on you. If you see how it's flaking there, it dries pretty quick. So you want to work with it pretty, pretty fast if you can. But that's about all there is to it using a Bondo body patch.